today we'll be talking about tenses and under tenses i would be explaining you the present tense now what are tenses tenses is the form in which a verb is used to express when an action is was or will be performed so basically tenses tell you about the time of an action they are used to stress when an action happened whether it happened in the past the present or the future now there are three kinds of tenses present past and future tense and today we'll be dealing with present tense now every tense has four subtypes simple continuous perfect and perfect continuous so today since we are dealing with present tense so let's begin with the first subtype that is simple present tense now what is a simple present tense simple present tense is used to talk about things that happen on an everyday basis things that are a part of your daily routine your habits and also the general truths or the scientific facts which do not change so for the things and the routine that does not change you use simple present tense now what are the rules of simple present tense in simple present tense you would use the first form of verb so for a positive sentence now remember every sentence begins with a subject followed by a verb this is a normal structure of every sentence so for a positive sentence subject plus first form of verb for a negative sentence in simple present you use don't and doesn't so subject plus don't and doesn't plus first form of verb and for every interrogative sentence whenever you have to create a question an interrogative sentence remember the helping verb comes in the beginning so in this case the helping verb is do or does so do or does would come in the beginning plus subject plus first form of verb now read the examples below i run fast i don't run fast helping verb is do so do i run fast he runs fast he doesn't run fast does he run fast does is the helping verb so it has come in the beginning so remember in the simple present tense you would use first form of verb and for negative sentences you would use don't and doesn't for singular subjects that is he she it or any name of a person for one person you would use an s or es after the verb for example he runs she runs aruna eats karan drinks so there is an s after the verb and when you talk about the plural subjects there would be no s or es after the verb now just like i told you for all the singular subjects you would add an s and es to the verb and for the plural subjects there would be no s or es after the verb he she it buys reads thinks and i you we they think read buy remember i and you follow the same rules as followed by the plural subjects though they are singular but they follow the same rule pattern as is followed for the plural subjects so i you we they they will come with a verb without an s or es and singular subjects like he she it they will be followed by a verb with an s or es now don't versus doesn't remember whenever you form a negative sentence with don't and doesn't there would be no s or es with the verb for example you don't speak english he doesn't speak english now one of the most common mistakes that students make is with doesn't they use s or es with the verb that is incorrect you can't say he doesn't speak english he doesn't speak english she doesn't go to the market he doesn't play with me so whenever don't and doesn't are used in a sentence to form negative sentences or to form interrogative sentences do not use s or es with the verb and this would come with practice so keep practicing these sentences so that you get a hold of them now moving on to present continuous tense present continuous just like the name suggests continuous an action that is going on so present continuous is used to talk about an action that is happening at the moment of speaking that means an action that is happening right now 
and also it talks about actions which are happening around you but not exactly in front of you. For example, right now, what actions are happening around you? The fan is running, the birds are chirping, I am teaching. So these are the actions which are happening right now. And which are the actions that are happening around you but you can't really see them? The pollution is increasing these days. Now you can't literally see the pollution right now but this is something which is happening around you these days. So this is where you use continuous tense, present continuous tense. And the formation of present continuous tense, remember in all the continuous tenses you would use an ing with the verb. So for present continuous tense, subject plus is am are plus v1 ing, subject plus is am are plus not v1 ing. And again for interrogative sentences like I told you, helping verb comes in the beginning. So is am are is the helping verb. So is am are plus subject plus v1 ing. He is playing, he is not playing football. Is he playing football? This is the formation of a present continuous tense. Now what is the difference between simple present and present continuous? Simple present talks about actions which happen every day as a part of your routine. And present continuous talks about actions which are happening at the moment. Something that is happening right now. It may not necessarily happen every day but it is happening at the moment of speaking. Let's read these examples. I read books every day. So this is something that I do every day. I am reading a book right now. What am I doing right now? I am reading a book. So this is an action which is going on right now. So for the actions which happen on an everyday basis, you would use simple present. And for the actions which are happening right now, you would use present continuous. Clear? For habits, daily routine, general truth, scientific facts, simple present. For example, there are many stars in the sky. This is a universal truth. This is a general truth. So for all these things, you would use present simple. Now moving on to present perfect. Now remember in all the pres a perfect tenses you would use third form of verb. In simple present we used first form of verb. In present continuous we used first form along with ing. Now in present perfect we will use third form of verb. In all the perfect tenses whether it's present perfect, past perfect, future perfect remember only the third form of verb is used. So what is present perfect? Present perfect is used to talk about an action that began in the past and which has recently been completed or it continues into the present. So basically present perfect is used to talk about an action that began in the past and has recently been finished or it is about to get finished. I have cleaned my room. That means I started cleaning my room in the past but now I am done with this activity in the present that action is over. I have been to Jeddah recently. I went there in the past but now that activity is over. So for the actions that began in the past and are over now or are about to get over in the present, you would use present perfect. So the rules of present perfect subject plus has or have plus third form of verb. Past participle means third form. Subject plus has or have not plus third form. And again the helping verb comes in the beginning for interrogative. Has or have plus subject plus third form. So I have tried sushi, I have not tried sushi, have you tried sushi? Remember with all the plural subjects you would use have, with all the singular subjects you would use has. So if I am talking about the subject he, we would say he has tried sushi, he has not tried sushi, has he tried sushi? Sushi is a kind of a dish, especially made with fish. Okay, now moving on. Present perfect continuous. Continuous like the name suggests an ongoing activity. So obviously in present perfect continuous there will be an ing. Right and because it's present perfect so it would also have a has and a have. Now what is present perfect continuous? Present perfect continuous is used to talk about an action that began in the past and is still continuing in the present. Remember in present perfect I told you about the action that began in the past and is over. It's finished action. And in present perfect continuous it talks about an action that began in the past and is still going on in the present. It is a continuous action. 
and in present perfect continuous always remember that you have to make sure that you mention the time using since or for mentioning time is very important in present perfect continuous now the rules subject plus has have plus been plus verb with ing subject plus have has plus not been plus ing and the helping verb for interrogative comes in the beginning have or has plus subject plus been plus v1 ing so i have been living in ireland for almost 4 years now see when time has been mentioned the duration has been mentioned for 4 years that means i started living there in the past and even now i have been living in ireland her eyes are red because she has been crying all evening that means she started crying in the past but even now she is crying so make sure you mention time in present perfect continuous using since or for since is used when you talk about the starting point when you exactly know when an action started and for is used to talk about the duration of the action not necessarily the time when an action started for example i have been teaching since 2001 i know exactly when i started doing this 2001 and if i don't want to talk about the time and i want to talk about the duration i would say i have been teaching for 20 years or for 10 years when i just want to talk about the duration i would use for when i want to talk about the starting point of an action i would use since okay so present continuous and present perfect continuous what's the difference present per continuous talks about an ongoing action a continuous action in the present something that is happening right now it has no relation to the past and present perfect continuous talks about an action that began some time way back in the past and is still going on emily has been reading for 3 hours so emily started reading sometime back in the past and is still reading and the duration is for 3 hours emily is reading right now now i exactly know that this is what emily is doing right now i don't know about the duration i don't know when she started doing it but right now what she is doing is she is reading and if i want to talk about the past also and i want to talk about the duration as well i would use present perfect continuous you can't say emily has been reading right now because you don't know when she started you only know that the action is going on right now currently so then you would say emily is reading right now so for present perfect continuous remember to mention time and the duration of the action using since and for and present continuous is used to talk about an action that is going on right now and which has no relation to the past a quick summary simple present is used to talk about actions that happen on an everyday basis your daily routine your habits scientific facts and general truths which are always true present continuous is used to talk about action which is happening right now present perfect is used to talk about an action that began in the past and is now complete in the present and present perfect continuous is used to talk about an action which started in the past and has not been completed in the present it is still going on i work i am working i have worked i have been working so now what you people need to remember is before doing the tenses please make sure that you know all the three forms of verbs so go through a chart where there are different verbs written in all their three forms you will not be able to study tenses correctly and understand them till you don't know your words properly so make sure you go through your chapter on verbs that has been done before and you should know all the three forms of verbs before moving on to doing the tenses and tenses will only come with practice so make sure you practice every kind of sentence in your rough notebooks thank you